Hello Grown Up Planets, welcome back to a new video and today we are going to start the series of three videos in which we're going to go over in what I think the Barcelona squad should be during next season. In this first video of the series we're going to go over the defense positions. So starting with the goalkeepers, of course, we have Marc-André Ter Stegen. Marc-André Ter Stegen has an actual contract until 2022 but to my eyes, we should be renewing his contract already because I think he deserves a salary increase to feel in a better position in the club. As a second goalkeeper, I would place Iñaki Peña. Reason why I trust in Iñaki Peña, he's done good things with the B team. I don't think it's worth it to have Neto for uh, the 10-12 games of the season for the second keeper as he has a considerable salary and we could easily get at least 10, 15, 20 million for him in this market. There's also rumors that maybe Onana could be coming to Barcelona, but I don't think we need Onana as well as the price tag is probably around 30, 40 million. And it makes just no sense to buy Onana who's going to be sitting in the bench or playing 10 games a year. So I would scrap Onana and my goalies for next season would be Ter Stegen and Iñaki Peña. In terms of right backs, there's actually a long list of rumored players and possible players that could be fitting in, in the right back position. Anyways, we only need two right backs in the team. And I think the best right back that we have currently is Semedo. There's actually some rumors right now where he could be transferred and he could be entering the swap deal for Lautaro Martinez. I think Semedo is going to stay and we're going to keep Semedo. So Semedo is going to be my first right back. As a second right back, I would say that Sergi Roberto right now is our best option because he's a flexible player. I know some people are criticizing him a lot, but I think Sergi Roberto has what it takes to be that second right back in Barcelona. Also, he's the fourth captain, he's made in La Masia, and his love for the club is undeniable. Then, of course, we have Emerson, which uh, was bought last year by Barcelona and Betis together. They both paid six million for Emerson, and basically they agreed that the player would play in uh, Betis for two years, and then uh, in the next two years, Barcelona would be able to get him for the six million that he paid for. There's also an option that Emerson could come to Barcelona this summer, but Barcelona would have to pay an extra fee of three million on top of the six million that they already paid. Therefore, it doesn't make much sense when we have Semedo and Sergi Roberto already lined up. We also have Wage, let's not forget about him. I have to say that I liked a lot the way Wage was playing. I liked the way he was sacrificing for the club and at the end of the day, we still need to see him develop. And at last, we have big rumors that Barcelona has been interested in Serginho Dest. This Ajax right back has a lot of talent, is indeed very, very young, I think he's around 19 years old, and it could be a good chance for Barcelona to buy Serginho Dest at this time and keep him loaned in Ajax, as Barcelona and Ajax have a very good relationship, and Barcelona could bet on the future of Serginho Dest, but still make him develop in Ajax. In terms of the centre-backs, we have, of course, Gerard Piquet, legacy player. He's a little bit inconsistent lately, but he's giving one of the best levels when he's at his top level. So I'm going to strongly bet on Gerard Piquet as well as he's a legendary player of Barcelona. Let's keep that in mind. Then there's a player which I think he's so underrated in Barcelona. Of course, the Frenchman Lenglet. He came in as a third uh, center back and now he's won his starting position in Barcelona. Maybe now with Setien, um, Umtiti has been playing a little bit more. But let's remember that with Lenglet, Barcelona was playing perfectly with Piqué Lenglet, so I think Lenglet should be getting a renewal, should be getting a pay rise, he's, he's actually a, in a very low level of salary, so let's be fair, let's give Lenglet what he deserves. Let's talk a little bit now about Umtiti. I think Umtiti has been uh, not giving his best levels uh, since the World Cup and uh, this has been critical in terms of his market value which has been dropping by the second. I think the best thing for Barcelona to do is either sell him this summer or loan him and the club that we loan him to should pay the salary, the full salary of Umtiti and maybe see if, if he can come back. My third center back would be Chancler Todibo. I think he deserves to come back to Barcelona. I think Barcelona is a good place for him. Although I think he's a little bit overrated. 
Then as the fourth center back, I would literally leave the space empty for maybe Araujo or Chumi or Cuenca. We have good center backs in the second team and we should give an opportunity to those players. And to finish the video, let's uh, go through the left back position. Of course, we have our man Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba is playing an extraordinary level. He's not at his best anymore, but he's keeping a very, very good level. That's why, of course, he's gonna be my starting position. Then, of course, we have the controversial Junior Firpo. Some people say Junior Firpo has a lot of talent. Some people actually dislike uh, very much Junior Firpo. I'm in between. I don't think Junior Firpo has a crazy, crazy talent. I don't think um, we can expect a lot from him. We can expect some things. I think he has enough talent, but he still needs time to develop. Um, I'm not sure if he had enough time even in Betis to develop. He did some good things over there. That's why Barcelona signed him. But I don't think that Firpo right now is at the level of Barcelona. So maybe um, we could try selling uh, Firpo or loaning him. I know there's a lot of Italian teams interested in Firpo. So maybe for 25, 30 million uh, to maybe Roma or Inter, it uh, would be very interesting. So let's, let's take advantage of this position. And otherwise we can keep Firpo, see how he develops. Then we have a couple loaned players in this position. We have Miranda and we have Kukureya. In terms of Miranda, I think he didn't have enough minutes in Schalke. I think he needs more time to develop. He has a good talent to become either the first or the second left back for Barcelona in a few years. Then Kukureya, a lot of people, and including me, like Kukureya a lot. The problem with Kukureya is that he hasn't been playing as a left back. He's been playing in a forward position. So I'm unsure when he comes back to Barcelona, if he comes back to Barcelona, that he's going to be doing very well in this position. So what I would do with Kukureya is try to sell him at this point, because I think right now a lot of clubs are interested in Kukureya and we could get up to 20, 25 million for him. So it would be very interesting to sell Kukureya now and see uh, how much money that we can get for the signing of Lautaro Martinez. So revising a little bit what my team would be. In goal, we would have Ter Stegen, then we would have... Iñaki Peña, then in the right-back position we would have Semedo and Sergi Roberto. Then for the centre-backs we would have Piqué, Lenglet, Rodivo and possibly Araujo. And for the left-back positions we would have Jordi Alba and Junior Firpo. So, I hope you liked this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. You're very welcome to leave me your opinion in the comments. I'm looking forward to see which players you think would suit best for Barcelona. And also, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell to be notified as soon as I release a video. Having said this, hope everything is going well. Visca el Barça, visca Catalunya, and see you in the next video.